Welcome to the Serious Shift Blogcast. We have only one question. What does Serious Shift mean to you? To answer that and much more, here's your host, Dennis Mosley-Williams. Hey everybody, I'm Dennis and welcome back to the Serious Shift Blogcast, episode number 114. Wherever you are, I hope you're well. A special welcome to anybody new who might be with us this week. Welcome. Nice to have you around and have you part of our story here. So my question is, do you think that if Steve Jobs launched Apple Computer today, he would bother buying the expensive Super Bowl ad? The expensive Super Bowl ad, 1984, cost them a million dollars. It ran once for one minute. And it got the conversation started. And, and that's it. Apple was off and on their way, 1984. Do you think he'd bother doing that today? Here's my answer. Not a chance. He wouldn't bother doing that today because the game has changed completely. It used to be that you designed your product, came up with the features and benefits, came up with the right price, and at the end you marketed it. Tried to sell it. And you, you generally speak, in marketing in 1984 was buying advertising. Okay, so you'd buy advertising. And I guess the gamble was if you spent enough money on advertising to get enough eyeballs on your product that enough of those people looking at it would buy it and you'd make a profit. That was the gamble. Buy advertising, buy people's attention, and you're good. But now we live in a world where people are really, really stingy with their attention. And there's a million things to be competing for people's attention. Beginning with the telephone in their hand. It's no longer just a telephone. It's a movie screen, right? We are in competition, not with the other people in our industry. We are in competition with everything that offers value for someone's time, including watching movies. Because again, the game has changed so much, there's no urgency to tune in now. You don't have to watch this blog now. You can watch it at two o'clock in the morning. There's, it's, not an, it's not a commercial interrupting your TV show. It's a gift, I hope, that's waiting for you when you want it. That's a big difference. So I'm going to argue that most people get marketing wrong. They still think it's something you do at the end. When it's changed, it isn't. Marketing is something that you do constantly. It begins with this question. This thing I do, this thing I have, who's it for? And what change does it help create? That's where it starts, okay? Marketing, as I say, it's in everything you do. The best marketing in the world is your customer experience, not your customer service, your customer experience. How you engage and hold people's attention, how you make them feel, your experience is about creating a story that someone wants to hear twice. A story that someone hears and says, okay, wait, what? Tell me about this guy again. As soon as someone says that about you, okay, wait a second here. Tell me about this guy again. The minute they say that, they're telling you really that they want to be a part of the story. End of story, okay? Marketing starts at the beginning. It's not something you do at the end. I'm gonna hand this whole thing over right now to Steve Jobs. One of the things I've always found is that you've got to start with the customer experience and work backwards to the technology. You can't start with the technology and try to figure out where you're going to try to sell it. And I've made this mistake probably more than anybody else in this room. And I've got the scar tissue to prove it. And I know that it's the case. And as we have tried to come up with a strategy and a vision for Apple. Um, it started with what incredible benefits can we give to the customer? Where can we take the customer? Not, not starting with, let's sit down with the engineers and, and figure out what awesome technology we have and then how are we going to market that. Um, and I think that's the right path to take. Okay, so again, isn't that amazing? How, how smart was that guy? He was so far ahead of it. 
You don't start by building the product and finding the market. You start by empathizing and understanding your client. Apple was never about being a computer for you to use. Apple has always been about helping you become the creator you think you are. That's what makes Apple Apple. And no, there's no way they would waste their time broadcasting a message to a whole bunch of anybody's when they know they can stage an experience and create something for just a small group of somebodies who will passionately and consistently spread the word. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again in a couple of days. Take care. We hope you enjoyed the Serious Shift broadcast. We would love any suggestions, feedback on topics, ideas, or challenges that may have you feeling stuck. Also, please leave a five-star review wherever you are enjoying this content. It helps Dennis out tremendously. On behalf of Dennis and the team, see you next episode.